Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today I'm playing something new on my channel for you guys, it is Spore. Now Spore, if you're not aware, is uh, a game that was released I think in 2008, and it's sort of like a sandbox sort of um, build your own empire from cell stage up to like basically galactic, galactic civilization stage. Let's just put it that way. You will see as we play through this. However, first of all, we need to actually choose a world that we want to start on. Now, you've got all these as choices. This is the Milky Way galaxy. And this does actually affect where you're going to be. Now, technically, I'd like to get as close to the center of the galaxy as I can, which will be explained later in the game. Um, I quite like the look of that green planet, although it's a bit sort of generic and boring as planets go. We could go for the blue one. We're going to go for the green one here because it looks kind of nice. Okay, so the first stage we're going to go into is the cell stage. And these are all the other stages, but we won't we won't talk about that yet. Now, we've got to choose whether we want to be a herbivore or a carnivore. Now, the difference between the two is that carnivores eat meat, obviously, and are therefore more aggressive, and it changes your playstyle based on which one you're going to choose. However, what I'm probably going to do is go for an omnivore. Now, the, the issue with this is that well, it's not really an issue. The advantage of this is that you get to eat both kinds of food, which makes it a lot easier for you to progress. But initially we'll go for herbivore. And we're going to play on normal difficulty. And here we go. What are we going to call our planet? Of course, if you watch my other videos, you'll know planet Pakistan. Perfect. <laughs> There'll be a little cutscene here. And Spore, this is how worlds are inhabited. Asteroids containing cells smash into the planet's surface and spread life. And so, Pakistan was born. Okay, and here we are, in Spore. Welcome to the Tide Pool. Throughout Spore, the choices you make impact your future. As a cell, your mission is to eat, grow, and evolve. Growth is measured in your progress bar below. Making progress. This is your progress bar. Thank you very much. As you eat, you will earn DNA points. You may spend these points on new parts to evolve your cell. As you progress, you grow larger, and your world expands. Okay, so as it said there, the point of this is basically to progress... Um, to get to the next stage. The next stage is when you get fully all the way down to here on your progress bar. It will fill up with green. And obviously as a herbivore, at this point in time, we just want to collect these green bits that are floating everywhere, which currently these other herbivores are eating. Now this is the cell stage, which means that uh, we're in the earliest stage of development of Pakistan. It's going to take a while for us to actually get to the point where we have a civilization, but you'll see that later on. Right, so we've just grown up a little bit. Now, the point of this is, basically when we get to these little grey bits, oh, other cells and meteor bits are the key to finding new parts. Each part has a unique ability that can benefit your cell. When you see the new part appear, swim over to the token and collect it. Okay, so we probably want this. This is a spike. Uh, now, I have played this game before, as you can probably tell. It's one of my favourite games ever. Ever. <laughs> um, I've played it many, many times. Uh, so I'm not going to get confused or stuck. Well, hopefully I won't anyway. But yes, as I was saying, each of these grey bits is the next evolution stage for our brain. As our brain gets bigger, it means that we um, have more DNA points that we can spend on different things, and we grow up. So we become bigger in the tide pool. Okay, now we want to avoid these guys. These are carnivores, and you can tell by the shape of the mouth parts. Uh, one, oh dear god, there's a lot of these. Uh, one way of getting life back at this stage is to eat... So that's what you want to do. Just basically, the point is, we just want to om-nom everything <laughs> until we get big and fat, like this. Okay, so there's a nice little collection of green over here. Just grab that. And then probably, once we avoid this guy who's trying to eat us, we shall... Oh god, there's quite a nice bit of green here. This guy doesn't steal all of it, you bastard. We're going to call a mate. Okay, so now basically in this game, it's all about evolution. As you can see, there's a little 
thing in the way here, so we'll just go around this. We should find our mate over here. Maybe not. We're probably too late. Too late to mate. Here we go, we're now going to engage in sexy cell time. Which I'm sure doesn't actually occur in real life, but we won't, we won't mention that. <laughs> okay, now this is the cell creator. You can change modes in any creator by clicking on the modes button above. Before returning to the type pool, stop by paint mode and spruce up with a new look. Nice. Okay. Now the first thing that I want to do, as I said, I want to be an omnivore. In cell stage, the only way to get this is by adding a jaw on as well as one of these. Uh, which I think we can probably do by if we just sort of spaz it like that. There we go. Perfect. Now, the problem is we've now used all of our DNA, which is kind of annoying. We could add another eye on. I kind of... In a way, I want to change the shape of my cell. It doesn't really matter that much. But we could have like a... A nice sort of streamlined one that looks like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, God, I feel sorry for whoever, like... I'm sorry if you're an alien... And in some world, this sort of is me creating you. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, there's not really much more we can do. I'll stick with that. We'll change the colour of it. Name our species. Um, Parky Starney. Yes. <laughs> or maybe... Um, Starney? Stanny? Starney? He is a well cool alien like he could totally eat you or something perfect that's amazing okay um right <laughs> what color scheme do we want we could probably go for pink maybe i kind of don't like pink what? should we go for yellow does yellow look nice what sort of skin do we like I'd like to be some sort of like transparent weird race. I think that'd be kind of nice. Other ones we got here. Um, got one with a stripe. Stripes make you go faster, so that would be nice. Maybe green. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Ooh. Then purple. Yes, I like that. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll have that. So we've evolved a little bit there. Now the, the basic idea with the cell stage is to continue doing this until you basically get to the end and you've got all the parts that you need and you're the most successful cell in the cell pond. So as you can see now I can actually start eating this meat and this is exactly why I wanted to be an omnivore because it makes getting food so much easier in this stage because it means we can eat all these little other insecty cell things. Probably need to, oh god look at this, this would be good as well as eating all of these lovely plants here and growing up super quickly. Yes, get away from my plants, else I will eat you. Because I'm a fat bastard. I do actually kind of look a bit fat. <laughs> okay, they've stolen all the rest of the plants. This game definitely gives me um, childhood feelings, because this is like... I know it wasn't that long ago. Um, it's only, what, five years ago that this came out, but still... I remember just spending many a many an evening sitting in my room playing this. Right, let's eat this guy, because why not? Oh no, we're gonna be we're gonna be eaten by him, it looks like. God damn it. You bastard. Quick, eat some nom some food. Get your health back. Good, good. Good parky stanny. Oh dear god, don't know if you can see those jaws over there, we might want to avoid going in that direction. But we will nom all of this up first, and run away from that massive thing, which is quite terrifying. And I got 21, we could enter the cell creator again, maybe put on some protective spikes, or increase the speed at which we um, swim around in this pool. Funky sex time. Oh yeah. Right, okay. One thing I'd like to do, we could add some more speed, that would help us, but I would like to put possibly some protection on us. We'll put a couple of spikes like this. Yeah, that would be difficult then for people to attack us. They're kind of like horns, aren't they? We'll add something else onto the description. And he is horny. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Right, you can, I think you can tell the way this is going to go as a let's play. Not very well. Okay, so we go. Let's go and eat some more of this. And that looks like a meteor bit over there, which means that we can unlock another bit of cell um, structure that we can incorporate in ourselves. Swim faster! God damn it! What have we got? Spit poison. Damn, that's useful. Oh, and there's something else there. Quick, quick, get it, get it, get it, swim against the current. That's the only problem. I think we do actually need, um, that would be useful, faster turns. Oh, damn, it's like bits going everywhere. What the hell is this? Probisis? Probisis? Probosis. What does that do? Does it make you a more efficient, like, eater or something? Yes, there we go, growing up. And perfect, we can now eat these bigger plant bits. I was hoping that we could possibly get through the cell stage in this first episode, that'd be very good. Because the cell stage is pretty much the same, like, all the way through. It's not that interesting. Uh, there is my favourite stage, but we won't ruin that yet. We won't ruin it. Damn, okay, they hurt. Uh, these big guys are kind of scary looking. Probably can't do much with them, apart from go into their poison bit and then get eaten. <laughs> okay, well it doesn't really matter in this game. If you get eaten, you just get back to the... You just respawn in an egg somewhere else. See if we can get some of these bits of plant over here. I think it was definitely a good move going for the... Um, omnivore. Now what we might want to do is actually um, start eating a bit more meat because I think it bases it also on the amount of each type that you eat, if that makes sense. So if we eat more plant material than food... Um, bloody hell, my brain is not working. More plant material than uh, meat material, <laughs> then it means that we're going to go down the herbivore route, which is not kind of what we want. So we'll try and eat this guy. Get away from me, god you bully. Ow. See if we can, like, duff this guy up. Come on, then. He's very well protected. Oh, yes. Owned. See if we can kill this guy. Yes. Get that meat. So there's, like, little eggs hatching everywhere with these, like, smaller guys on. It's kind of annoying. Glad we got these spikes now. Jesus Christ. We'd have been, like, killed in seconds if we hadn't got them. Nom, nom, nom. There's mate again. We're almost at the end already. Bloody hell, that went quickly. Hello there, darling. I like it when you roll around like that. God, you're so sexy. My God. Oh. Okay, <laughs> slightly disturbing. Right, we can put all these things on. Oh, you can eat living... Ah, oh, that's exactly what we want. So this is actually a mix of both. Nice. Okay. So these are the omnivore things down here, I think. Or at least that is, anyway. Now, I think we want to go a bit faster. So let's bung some more of these on. Probably could get a bit more protection as well. Doesn't really matter at this point. I think we're going to win. <laughs> if, you, if you can win. Right. It's hard to lose this stage, that's the thing. Okay, so now I've got a nice omnivore mouth part. Which is lovely. Oi, leave her alone. I've just mated with her. Yeah, scared of me. Damn right. Oh, it's like a straw, like you can suck them. It's really weird. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. What the hell? So did you not actually get, like, material from these? Are we not getting cell material? It doesn't look like it. It's a bit weird. Oh, you do if you suck on those little egg sacs there, though. Leave me alone, god damn it, Jesus Christ. I've got like a posse following me. Die! Die! God damn it, Jesus Christ. Quick, eat that meat. Eat the meat! Get some health back before you die. Okay, we were like completely owned by a pack of them. It does happen. Probably do some more protection on the back there, but to be honest, pff, we're almost done with this stage. We might as well just wait now. Doesn't matter. Suck on him. Suck on his guts. 
quick eat these. Oh, it's hard to find food now. Probably going to have to eat some more of these egg sacs before they hatch quickly. Perfect. There we go. I don't know why we're not getting cell, like, DNA material from eating, like, live ones. You'd think you would. Quick. Get it. Damn it. Maybe if we, um... Ah, oh, there we go. So can we not actually eat meat now? Is that the idea? doesn't appear that we can. Bit weird. So we can only like suck on things. They're all gooey inside like these. Oh yeah, that was good goo. My favourite goo is the black one. There we go, and we've evolved. We now have a brain. Woohoo! <laughs> Moving up in the world. Congratulations, you're on the path to sentience. When it comes to swimming and sludge, you rule the pool. When you're ready to stretch your legs in the big wide open, click the advance button. Let's go. Right, this timeline shows the history of the actions you've taken during life as a cell. You've established a trait which earns you unique, ubil unique abilities even that will benefit your future generations. Which path has you chosen? Right, so yeah, as I said, if you eat more plant material, you see it boosts you into the herbivore side, and this boosts you into the carnivore side. But as you can see, we're an omnivore, which is exactly what we want, because we get the best of both worlds. At least in my opinion. Okay, so now, I think... Oh, I might as well do this. So we're now advancing into land. Now, what we're probably going to do is become an upright pe person, even. Um, and that will require us to like completely redesign our cell... Now this is where things get interesting, because basically the point of Spore is that you can create things, and you can pretty much create whatever you want-ish. Trying to make like a... there we go. We'll expand this up a little bit, and make him a bit fatter. We could even have a head. Oh, that'd be cool. And like, we could have a pot belly, but I don't think I want to. Yes, that's quite nice. Yes, yes. Although we do have like a, a weird mouth on our face, which is... A bit odd. Ugh. Okay, these spikes I'm pretty sure don't do anything. We need... Well, they do do something. If you look over here, these are our talents that we've got. So we have sight. We need eyes. So we probably need to put... Put some stork eyes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so we've got eyes. We can sneak. We need... We've got mating call, blah, blah, blah. Charge. I'm pretty sure if we take this off... We lose the charge ability. Sorry about that bang. Someone in my flat. Uh, okay, and I don't think these do anything now. So can we, like, get rid of these? Ah, no. No, we can't. What does that add on? Sneak. I don't think we're ever going to use sneak, but we'll keep it on there. Because why not? We'll give him a tail. There we go. Cute little tail. Right, and we're going to put legs on. Because legs are basically what you need to live in the overworld. So there we go. Now we'll move these a bit forward like so. We'll beef them up at the joint here. Like so. We'll make the feet a bit smaller and move the centre of mass forward slightly. Like so. Yes. Now we don't have the ability to have arms yet, which is kind of annoying. What the hell? We have just like a random eye on our back. There we go. Maybe we can add some more of these things on here. Ah, it gives us jump. That would be lovely if we could jump. So let's do that. There we go. Jump, because we want to press that space button. And perfect. Right. Omnivore. Perfect, perfect. He is a well cool alien. Like, he could totally eat you or something. And he's horny. But not as horny now. Not as horny. Let's repaint him to suit the land. Right, now we can do partial styles. What I think we might do is even go for something like this. No, I don't like that. What other ones have we got? I don't know what colour to go for. Oh, I kind of like that, actually. That's nice. Yes, yes. Right, time to venture onto the surface.
So who are we going to encounter? Every time you go into a loading screen, it shows you the type of other creatures that you might encounter in the world. Most of them are made by Maxis. Now Maxis is the guy who makes most of the stuff just to fill out the game with monsters. But eventually you do get like, I mean occasionally you do get others that other people have made on your friends list. Here we are. Dear God, that is absolutely terrifying. I like how he has two sort of sucky tube mouth things. Kind of looks nice though. I like it. I wish people in my flat would stop banging doors, it's really annoying. And there we are, the Pakistani tribe, moving on to land. It is the beginning of a new day, and for you, a whole new strange and wondrous world. Air fills your lungs as you stretch into your limbs in your new home. Dry land. The race to evolve has begun. Okay, well, that seems like a good place to end it. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave your support in the comments below. Tell me what you'd like to see in terms of my creature. What would you like it to look like? Are there any particular items or abilities that you'd like it to have that we will eventually pick up? Leave your comments below. Um, if you enjoyed the uh, episode, then please feel free to leave a like, um, favourite, or unsubscribe if you haven't done so already. And tell your friends, it would really help me out. Goodbye. Awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.